So what if the vision or a strategy for a project has changed uh, midway through a project or uh, through you know a sprint, let's say, if you're working in an agile uh, environment? So uh, there are a couple of reasons why such a question is asked. And uh, I would say that there's not one right answer, but you should use something called uh, situational leadership uh, to answer such a question. So why is this question asked? I think interviewers uh, want your views on customer excellence, right? So if a strategy is changed, it's generally demand driven. So how do you uh, how do you as an employee or you as a leader or you as a project manager react to uh, changes in demand and react to customer changing customer demands and two is your ability to navigate change so change is inevitable so they, they they'd like to see your thinking around uh, how do you think through change and navigate and be successful in a changing environment so um, and i think the situational leadership you want to use in such a case is uh, try to gauge how the interview has gone so far when you have been asked this question. So uh, are you playing uh, defense or are you doing well in the interview? Now, if you're playing defense in uh, in this case, what I would suggest is ask a question like, is this something that um, you see regularly in your company? So is this, is this an anomaly or is this the norm in most of your projects? Right. And the reason for this is you can get an idea of, OK, what are they thinking through and also puts you on the front foot when you when you ask this question. But I would say if your interview is going well, uh, it's OK for you to just give the answer because you're, you have momentum on your side anyway. So now how do you how do you answer this question? So uh, I would say, again, you know, you answer it by saying it depends. Right. Typical consulting uh, consulting speak and say uh, if it's is you know one is it a one off or is it a regular occurrence so uh, if it's a one off you accommodate the change and replan is needed so it's it's a very simple okay you know we get it right things have changed uh, you know sit down maybe get back to the drawing board and say okay we're going to replan we're going to do this and accommodate that change now if this is a regular occurrence uh, you still want at that specific project level uh, you want to make the change so you really want to go back and again replan and stuff like that but uh, it probably indicates uh, a potential planning issue so it could and and you want to talk to the interviewer of this uh, about this right so tell them stuff like okay if it's regular then it might be a planning issue right maybe we're not spending enough time thinking through the solution right and planning or maybe we're moving too fast so we get the requirements and we're just going into execution mode as against sitting and thinking through okay how are we how are we thinking through this uh, through the solution how are we architecting the solution right so uh, and if uh, if that's the case so for example if it is a regular occurrence you also want to potentially uh, tell the interviewer that i would relook at the planning process and see if there is uh, a systemic issue that that exists in the way we plan and execute projects. So is it just requirements to execution and not a lot of thinking through on planning? So to summarize, I would say, uh, see how the interview is going, uh, you know, based on that, either ask a question or just go into the answer saying, okay, it could be either one off where we just go in and, you know, replan, re-strategize and execute. Or if it's a if it's a regular occurrence, we still replan and you know and execute. But we also look at okay, what what is the flaw in the system that can help us uh, correct this? Okay, good luck.